Yo, what's up everyone? Thanks for watching the video. Just a quick update. Not such a good update today. Um, earlier this week, a lot of my SPS, three pieces, uh, my Slimer, my PC Rainbow there in the middle, and my Red Planet. Also this, uh, you can't really tell from the video, but the Lani Cap, everything started going pale on me. Uh, I can't really, haven't really determined what the exact problem is. Um, uh, nitrates are of, uh, around 10, 10 ppm right now. Um, also, my elk was pretty high and I run bio pellets. And from what I've read on all the forums and everything online is that you can't really keep high alkalinity when running bio pellets. So they were at about, I want to say 10 DKH. Uh, I stopped, I stopped um, using Kalkwasser just so that the system can naturally consume the alkalinity and bring, naturally bring it down. So for the past few days, I've been running it, you know, no calc. Um, brought it down to about 7 DKH so right now that's where we are 7 DKH I start, I re-add the calc glosser just to stabilize that at that number uh, my calcium is at about 440 um, magnesium kit I would have to get a new kit because I ran out of mine um, tested phosphates are zero uh, but they've always been zero I, I know it has to have some phosphate in there. I don't have a uh, Hannah checker. I've just uh, been using the Salifert test kit and API as a backup. And it seems like, you know, everything reads at zero. So, um, yeah, so that's that's what, what that is. I, I think I've I pretty much found that maybe it was the high alkalinity. Um, I just, I had a brand new box of... Um, Reef crystals that I think I, I, I may be the cause of that might be a bad batch. I would have to uh, mix up some new, more salt uh, in order to test that. And um, I'll do an update on that and just let you guys know what that number was. But I think that's what caused the um, high elk spike. But like I said, not exactly sure. Um, so uh, just today I added a little bit more bio pellets um i need to replenish them anyways and um it, it might look from right now the video that these are these are bleached but they're really not they're, they're just a little bit of color in them and at night the um the polyps extend you know for feeding along with the green slimer and this pc rainbow right here is not doing too hot i haven't really seen any polyps on that and the money cap the money cap has been through worse than, than this, so I'm I'm expecting that to bounce back. And a uh, quick update on the Kato uh, reactor, the thing I did the do it yourself. Uh, well, it turns out that the LEDs were bad, for lack of a better word. Uh, I did I did use a second power supply on that and it fried that power supply as well so uh, I sent those back um, probably gonna get a different set and for now I still have the reactor I kind of just have you know the lamp going straight to it just temporary for now just so that yeah, I don't I don't have the uh, the Kato die off I have a couple different types of Kato in here and it, at, at some point I think maybe this week I'm gonna have to harvest some of this got some red dragon uh, Kato in there with uh, some other green Kato but yeah everything is doing okay so far I think I'm expecting these SPS to bounce back I'll do an update on that I'm hoping that it was just a high elk swing and I'll expect them to see if they can bounce back. Other than that, 
Uh, that's the update, guys. You guys have any questions or maybe any suggestions uh, as to what may have been the cause? Like I said um, earlier in the week, Alk was at 10 dKH, slowly brought it down to 7, stabilizing that now with the Kalkwasser. And um, as of yesterday, the nitrate was 10 ppm. And I'm going to test later on today, if not tomorrow, give it a day with the. Uh, um, you know, replenishing the bio pellets and see and see where that goes. I want to keep it at around five. So, yeah, um, that's it for now. Thanks for tuning in.